If you don't want any, then my existence is meaningless. Hello, my name is Megan Ruth. I'm a Canadian living in London, England, and I react to British things. So today I'm going to be reacting to Red Dwarf Series 1, Episode 4. I have reacted to the previous episodes already. If you want to watch those, I have a playlist devoted to it. I'll post a link to that down below. Just like the majority of my reactions, this video will be edited. If you wanted to see the unedited reaction, I'll also post a link to my Patreon down below. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, especially my top tier patrons. Joseph, Brian, Reese, Kane, Robin, Andy, Hypnobub, Chris, Emil, Julian, Steve-O, Patrick, Lloyd, Sean, Danny, Mark City, 10, Hi Chris, 19, RG, Bud, Rob, and Dan. Let's just get started, shall we? Polly, give me access to the crew's confidential reports. Those are for the captain's eyes only, Arnold. Fine, well, we'll give him ten seconds to come back from the dead, and if he hasn't managed it, we'll presume I'm in charge, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> no, he hasn't managed it. <clears throat> Whose do you want? Give me... give me listers, just the remarks. As requested sick leave due to diarrhoea on no less than 500 occasions. <laughs> Left his previous job as a supermarket trolley attendant. I always liked Captain Hollister. Such a great reader of men was Captain Hollister. A marvellous, marvellous man and a tragic loss to us all. If it's not worth doing, give it to Rimmer. He hates the responsibility, <laughs> but constantly fails the engineering exam. Whoa, 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 Holly, Holly, I want my report. Rimmer, 2 M's, E-R. Arnold, this is your report. I always hated that pusshead Hollister. He always resented my popularity. That constantly fails the exam. I'd hardly call 11 times constantly. <laughs> I mean, if you eat roast beef 11 times in your life, one would hardly say that person constantly eats roast beef. <laughs> would you like some toast? Mm -mm. Some nice, hot, crisp, brown butter toast. Mm -mm. You don't want any toast, then? No. What about a How nice would it be if... Uh... Your toaster could just make you toast without you having to even go up to the toaster and put toast in there. I'm sorry, I'm a very uh, lazy person and I just think if I didn't need to go to the toaster and physically put toast in the toaster, my life would just be so much easier. I don't know where the toaster would get the bread though. That's the mystery. Because obviously the toaster doesn't have legs or arms, so how would the toaster get the bread to toast the bread? Unless the toaster just magically creates it, you know, because it's magic. Woo! There's a lot of unexplained things in the show, but I guess that's the charm, right? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing? You know, the last time you had toast, 18 days ago, 11.36, Tuesday the 3rd, two rounds. Shh. I mean, what's the point of buying a toaster with artificial intelligence if you don't like toast? I do like toast. I mean, this is my job. This is cruel. Look, it's I'm just cruel. I'm busy. Oh, you're not busy eating toast, are you? I don't want any. I mean, the whole purpose of my existence is to serve you with hot buttered scrummy toast. If you don't want any, then my existence is meaningless. Good. I toast. Therefore, I am. Will you shut up? <laughs> That's where we need to put our artificial intelligence. We need to put them in appliances. We need to stop using AI to make art and videos and stuff. Instead, we need to use it for our appliances. There we go. I've said it. I've said it. <laughs> Only because I want to have a meaningful conversation with the toaster. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> and what does it say? It says, see, dick, run. Run, dick, run. <laughs> run, home, dick. That's the cat equivalent of Shakespeare, is it? Shakespeare. To be fair, I thought he was doing something else. When he was sniffing the book, I thought, um, you know, he was doing something else. Reading through your nose was not something that I thought of. I will say, I will admit. Do <laughs> Shakespeare? You moron, a playwright in the olden days, Wilfred Shakespeare. <laughs> Wilfred. Let me just start oh, now. Wilfred. This is a three year old, so you should try. I'm not the slightest bit interested in smelling anything cats have to say, thank you. <laughs> you keep your underpants on coat hangers, don't you? <laughs> That's private! <laughs> okay, we're okay, take the shirt back. I don't want it, it's ruined, you've sweated in it. <laughs> Oh, the string's moving! Hey, that string! That string. Ah. Where is it? It's in scoop range, John. That's what I'm saying. I am your god. Okay. Turn this into a woman. 
I'm serious. So am I. <laughs> Look, Frankenstein was my pet cat, right? Mm -hmm. And she was pregnant. Your entire race of people evolved from my pet cat. I gotta go now, man. But... Wait, entire race? Of people? That's plural. Are there more of him? Are there more of the cat people? Because that would make sense with the language entire race of people. Otherwise, he's on his own and he wrote that book himself and he kind of created his god himself through, I don't even know. Is there more cat people? <laughs> 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 All right, let's do a play it your way. But don't think you're coming out of there. You're in there for a month. You're in quarantine. What did you say, Rebecca? <laughs> Why'd you never do what I tell you, eh? Don't you think it's a shining good... Wait a minute, though, because Rimmer is not even human. So how do... Wh why does he care? Like, he can't get any disease. Lister's the only actual human on the ship. Well, there's the cat, too. He's kind of a living being as well. But, like, surely... Rimmer, like, is not worried about himself because he can't get ill. <laughs> Give me a red dwarf garbage pot. <laughs> <laughs> Holly, did Rimmer never work in waste disposal? No, Dave. <laughs> it's one of our red dwarf garbage pods with, like, the writing bent off in places. Why didn't you tell him? Well, it's a laugh, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in that? Do you believe in God? God, certainly not. What a preposterous thought. I believe in aliens, Lister. Oh, right, fine. Something sensible at last. <laughs> aliens, Lister, with technology so far in advance of our own, we can't even begin to imagine. To be fair, personally, in my opinion, I think there's more likely to be aliens than there is to be a God. You know, it just makes sense that there's other life forms on other planets and other solar systems. But uh, to me, that makes more sense than there being a god. Like, no hate to the religious people or anything, but like that's just personally my opinion on the matter. So I actually kind of agree with Rimmer here. When that pot opens and from it emerges a beautiful alien woman with long green hair and six breasts. <laughs> six breasts? Imagine making love to a woman with six breasts. Imagine making love to a woman. <laughs> Rimmer is totally a virgin. I 100% think that he is a virgin. Absolutely, he's never, he's, he, no. It, it makes sense that he's a virgin, 100%. And it was written thus. Seven socks, one shirt. That's my laundry list. <laughs> Align the cat's basket with me laundry list. Blue Hat thought it was a star chart leading to the promised land. Well, it wasn't. It was my dirty washing. They're just using religion as an excuse to be extremely crappy to each other. Oh my god, the, the commentary on reality, or the commentary on, like, real... the real world is just, oh, sublime. I love it. So clever. Yes, yes. It reminds me a little bit of Father Ted with the commentary about religion here and kind of mocking religion a little bit. Beautiful. Love it. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you about my feet. What do you care? I don't care. You're the one who's doing the dying, not me. Why should I let it spoil my evening? What is going on? Who is that priest? Have I missed something? I'm a bit confused. <laughs> who's that? It is I, Cloister. Who is it, boy? I've told you, it's me, Cloister. I've retained the Is it him? In <laughs> these years, I kept my face. I wore the holy custard stain and the sacred gravy marks. I renounced coolness and chose the righteous path of sloppiness. Oh but in the God. end, I failed you. Ah, a miracle. Oh my God. This is the, the happiest day of my life. Ah. <laughs> I will say, for all the problems religion causes, it does make people very happy. I will say. It does It does do that. So, um, I will give religion props for that, but um, I still don't like it. I still think it causes more harm than good. But this isn't a video about religion. <laughs> this is a video about Red Dwarf, which is commenting on religion. Anyway. <laughs>
Incredible. A stupendous moment in my own personal history. The perfectly preserved remains of a Quagar warrior. Yeah, right, Will, absolutely. They must have looked something like a roast chicken. <laughs> a great episode oh my god anything that comments on religion or has a satirical commentary on religion just is is one of my favorite things so i love that anyway thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the reaction don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't done so already see you next time bye